You see, while listening to one of my favorite podcasts, shout out TMG, I recently found out that fan fiction is something that is very lucrative and people make a lot of money off of it. So I asked myself, how exactly is it that I could get involved in this? And I knew exactly what to do. You see, me and Danielle have never like really looked at fan fiction of us. I'm guessing it's out there. If not, then I guess, you know, we haven't really done anything in the internet world. I feel like once you have a fan fiction written about you, that's like, that's like when you made it, right? But then I remember that saying, if you can't beat them, then cheat against them or some, something like that. So instead I hired authors to write us fan fiction and some went a little dirty and some others knew that this was for YouTube. So they kept it a little PG, <sighs> but here's our fan fiction. Okay, babe, what do you know about fan fiction? Too much. Do you actually? Yeah. You know, have a fan fictioner? No. Okay, I, I sent you some fan fiction. I, I didn't saw write that. it. Professional authors wrote it. Is that a thing? A professional author? I An guess. author wrote it. And you and me are going to read out our fan fiction, our dream. So I gave them complete freedom to do this. Okay. So we could get dirty or not. And here's what I think would be funny. You and me kind of read it to each other. By the way, this is something I knew would make Danielle very, very uncomfortable. So enjoy that as well. This first one is 1,500 words. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm really bad at reading, so... Let's go back and forth. Here we go. We gotta set the scene. This one has no title. Mm. Ryan Plouffe looked over at his wife, wondering how he could manage to scoot over to her side. They were currently filming a survival challenge video, and like usual, she managed to be the one to get the upper hand. Mm. She was able to spend $100 to keep herself warm. Oh, now night. hold on, hold on. This is off the most recent video. Okay, yeah. $100 survival yes. challenge, okay. And she had spent the whole day grinning ear to ear as he spent his measly $10 at the dollar store. At this point, he was struggling to remember why he had come up with this challenge in the first place. He had just turned off, turned the camera off, and looked to her, giving her his best rendition of puppy dog eyes. Hey, he said, watching her take another sip of her happy water. Yes, Ryan. She turned over to him to face him, giving him her whitest grin as she did. He still couldn't believe he ended up marrying this amazing, stunning, wonderful woman. Wow. Her dirty blonde hair pulled around her shoulders. <laughs> okay, getting descriptive, I like you. And despite the lack of makeup, he could see her plump pink lips peeking out from her warm Santa blanket. Damn, is that a roast? Can I scooch over? He wobbled his lower lip to emphasize his pitiful state. How do you wobble your lip? <laughs> okay. She had the audacity of laughing out loud. Ah! Are you jealous of these prime amenities? He rolled his eyes. Both knew you were going to flip the coin in your favor. Yeah, you're always doing some sneaky stuff, babe. I swear, when I gave you that coin, you did some magic and made it ahead. So no. on both sides. Pause at this moment. I could tell that these big words these authors were using in these descriptive words really was able to paint a picture. Not not only that, but coming from the fact that this video was a video we just did like a week ago really made me picture this scenario. Hey, you see that like cheat or something? This is you. <laughs> he could tell she crossed her arms underneath the blanket. All he could think about was getting under the blanket with her. Oh, oh we're getting spicy. Why are you getting away from me? Goodbye! <laughs> So I don't want to do this. I knew it would make her uncomfortable if they got dirty with it. Hey, babe, come back. He was absolutely freezing and wanted to be close to his wife. I know that look. You're thinking about coming in here. <laughs> did we ever think that when we were filming it? Yes, I did. That's cheating. What would the subscribers say? The subscribers don't need to know. He winked. I'll tell them, she said. I'm so hungry, he said, emphasizing his puppy dog eyes even harder. My good puppy dog eyes. You literally just ate your jerky. It's on film. That ain't nothing, dude. I'm trying to bulk. I need Come calories. on, my beautiful wife. Let me in. He raised and lowered the bag he had placed on top of his head. <laughs> so true. As a so final true. attempt to make her give in. She rolled her eyes dramatically, made sure he saw it, then crooked a single index finger her way. Come on then. <laughs> you don't just he let it out crazy. a loud whoop. Woo! I knew you could never say no to me. He chuckled, threw his tiny lap blanket off, and practically <laughs> ran over to her. You know I can't resist those sad eyes. She opened up her blanket and he scooted in, because already I, I feeling should... the warmth she had created. I gotta say one thing. It's really awkward because when I reach out to these authors, I'm like, hey, can you write us fan fiction? I had to explain we're YouTubers. So they're obviously looking at us, yeah. like picturing this, like scenario. Like, they're trying to write a scenario. That's just weird. That's a little weird. <laughs> so what kind of snacks are you willing to share? He wiggled his eyebrows at her makeshift box. None. You're only allowed to cuddle with me here. So snaps, you're welcome dude. to watch me eat, she said, <laughs> and popped a cracker in her mouth. Ryan grabbed her waist, pulled her down with him, oh, chuckling as she let out a squeal. He nuzzled his messy blonde hair into her neck, making a noise in his throat. 
There's something about when it comes to writing this type of stuff, the descriptive words. It makes it weird. Mm. It's almost like we're in our bed at home. Mm. He said softly, <laughs> wrapping his arms fully around her bare waist. Wait, when did I get bare? All of a sudden, snap of the fingers. <laughs> she was wearing a brown crop top sweater. Yes, I'm right. A luxury she was able to afford from having two blankets to sleep with. Dang, babe. I could sleep anywhere with you and feel just as safe, he murmured. You're always so sweet, she said, and brushed his hair with her fingers. He felt the familiar tug and leaned into it. Thank you for letting me into your hundred dollars space. <laughs> he laughed. The noise deeper and more husky than before. <laughs> Any time, babe. They lay in their silence for a few seconds, neither saying a word as they looked up at the night sky. Ryan could feel the cold air on his face, though he felt perfectly warm now that he was cuddled up next to her. What are you thinking about? He asked her. It's so quiet here. It's nice, she softly replied. Gives you a chance to think about everything without all the usual social media. That's exactly something I would say. Well, we still have a camera pointed at us, he said. But I get what you mean. <laughs> He placed a single kiss on her neck, and she immediately lifted her chin up so he could get more access. <laughs> he began placing more kisses, moving up her neck towards her chin, then back up her jaw to her ears. He nibbled her ears softly, and she turned her body to face him. They made eye contact, staring at each other as he felt her breath against him. <laughs> she reached out and removed his glasses. I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> you look so serious, she whispered. Oh, she placed her mouth on his so suddenly he didn't react at first. <laughs> but after so many years of being together, his body knew the taste and feel of her soft lips. He immediately started kissing her back, his oh. mouth opening slightly as she pushed into him. That, <laughs> <laughs> that night itself felt so different from their usual, and he found himself wanting to be slow and delicate. Well, how did they know so many details? Yeah, that's unusual. <laughs> Take his time, knowing we had the rest of our lives Take together. your time! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> she seemed to be thinking the same, and their mouths moved together in perfect syn synchrony as they passed their body together even further. Pause. I could tell as the point was going on, we were getting into something juicy. I knew that one of these was not going to keep a PG, and I knew that these descriptive words were getting a little too descriptive, and I knew exactly where we were going. Buckle up, we're diving in. He eventually pulled back, and he couldn't help but let out a wide smile. So happy. <laughs> I'm touching you, I'm so happy. I don't think I could ever get tired of kissing you. She ignored him and looked down at his body. You're wearing so much clothes. I feel like there's so much fabric between us. Oh, it's about to get oh, crazy, no! guys. Hey, I still have to go back and sleep with a bag on my head. You know how difficult that will be now that I have experienced your warmth? Okay, they're like really painting a picture in my mind though. I don't know about you, uh -huh. but I'm like really picturing this. Maybe you don't have to go back. She trailed off. Wow, that kiss really convinced you, huh? You teased. I wouldn't lie to our subscribers, you know that. She was the one to pout at him now. She pulled the loop in his jeans and pressed or to press their bodies firm against each other. Give me more then before you go. Oh gosh. Her voice was breathy and <coughs> yeah, that's, that's hot. Love that. And that how was could sexy. he <laughs> And how could he refuse <laughs> such a beautiful woman? He pressed his lip against hers, wrapping his fingers into her hair as he tugged on it gently, making her let out a little I'll do it for you. This encouraged him further, and he reached behind her with his fingers to tug on her bra strap. I think you're wearing too much too, he said in between kisses. He pulled her crop top off, feeling the smoothness of it. He had touched her for many years now, and still couldn't believe how soft her skin was compared to his. He bit her bottom lip and pulled it, nice. making her eyes Not pop open with a fiery gaze. Your eyes just- <laughs> I want more. You're teasing me too much. He wanted more as well, but he was having too much fun watching her desperate for him. I think it's your happy water talking here. Happy she let water. out a little laugh. You're lying. You know I always want you. He didn't reply as he began his trail of kisses again. From her lips down to her chest, ignoring the spots she really wanted to be licked. Whoa! Oh! No, just that in writing. He went all the way down her stomach. All the way to the top button of her jean. She let out a breathy noise. Like, when it comes to a noise being described as breathy, breathy? just not sexy. Like, that's just, that's weird. Thinking he was going to do more, but he flicked his tongue out and licked back up her body, leaving a line of, oh, of wetness. Uh, leaving a line of wetness in his wake. Why are you torturing me? She asked. 
now the one giving him the sad eyes. Because I need to punish you for winning again. Oh no! Punish me! She swatted him on the chest, and he reluctantly flicked the blanket over his body as he stood up. See you tomorrow morning, he winked. Love you, babe. Damn, this was a tease. She got me going. I'm a little hurt. She replied and turned over, snuggling even deeper into her Santa blanket. Ryan sighed and went back to his disappointing self. <laughs> I love how it just goes back to reality. It's like me with a bag over my head, just blue ball. <laughs> Though now in a much better mood. No, I would not be in a better mood. He couldn't wait to touch her again tomorrow. His lovely wife and continued the life they began together. He stared up at the crisp night sky again and smiled. I did not like that one. Okay, hold it on. It was disappointing. Out of 10. I got like an eight. Just because it was very interesting. One thing I'm not gonna lie, it was so easy to picture that because it just happened. I know, that's true. Like I still had every detail in my yeah. mind. Eight out of 10, that was good. Some words in there that were very descriptive, somewhere it wasn't needed, somewhere it really actually helped the story. Yeah. Thank yeah, that was, that was something. Anyways, a thousand likes and we'll do another one of these where authors write us fan fiction that is NSFW. Not safe for the web, guys. Let's dive into the next one where this one actually is a little bit easier to read. I wanna say something. This one is though. titled Too Many Animals. It's very legit. Yeah. Sounds about right. Go ahead. You want to start off? My wife and I are always looking for new ideas, to keep our great channel active, and our fans always happy, even if they don't always work. In the last video, she and I agreed to keep a different budget, ten and a hundred dollars. <sighs> Again, Dang, the same video, dude. After that, we brainstormed how to manage future videos and we stayed for a few days without doing much until one day she herself brought a poodle puppy. Quite pretty. Freaking poodle, dude. Quite pretty and small. Maybe it was a baby, but I asked her strangely, and why did you want a dog now? Well, maybe Makes we sense. can do something with it, but that's very generic. Ugh. I'm gonna think of something. After that, I just went to my room to edit some test videos for future projects. Some practice of new video techniques and other tests that really seemed interesting to me. Bro, I swear they like know our <clears> lives. <throat> Besides reviewing our videos to see a little how they were going. Ah, it's been a long time since we did something giant like that video with 9 million visits. Visits? Just <laughs> visits? Hell's a visit. Dude, you see that new video? We got 21 million visits. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I went out to the living room, I saw my wife recording the puppy. Maybe she just wanted a pet. So I kept looking at her from afar until she began to narrate as if she were making a video, but I didn't want to interrupt her to see what their plans were. Hi everyone, here I brought you a new friend. It's called Fluffy. Yeah, not original, but I like it. I almost let out a nasal laugh, but I kept quiet as she continued recording. I have a super duper great idea in mind. <laughs> My husband doesn't know it yet, but I have an idea of adopting a puppy every day. Oh my god, dude, I- oh Yes! My god. Yes! I would- Yes! Yeah, I'd be gone. I'd no, be you gone. wouldn't. I'd be no, gone. No, you wouldn't. Every day? You would have- Really? We have would 30 me? puppies in a month. 365 puppies. We will start with this poodle, but little by little we are increasing. I will notify you every 10 puppies until we reach 100. And from there we will only wait for 365. No. No, 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 on day six. That's a good idea, the bad. How are you going to keep that all a secret? I imagine the whole house full of puppies running from one side to the other. It was quite bizarre, the fact of handling so many dogs. I imagine it just dog poop everywhere. And just you walk into our house and you can't even speak to each other because there's so much barking going on. Yeah, but worth it. What would I do with them after the video? There were questions that I began to think about while she recorded, while she continued recording the video without realizing that I was listening to her. After a while, she left the puppy, but I arrived minutes later pretending not to know nothing. She greeted me with her pretty smile as I bent down. Hey, I, I'm not bending over, dude. As I bent down and petted our new puppy. Days passed as she brought more dogs. There were so many that there were even breeds she didn't know. I hardly saw a Dalmatian who was pregnant. I even made a joke that I hope a hundred Dalmatians would come out of her. <laughs> but strangely, she got to thinking that would not be so bad. That's... She watched all the videos where there's an animal in the thumbnail and Danielle freaking out and me being like, another animal. Hey, don't get your hopes up, I said while I went away to see if she started recording a new video. 
I saw her grabbing the camera and I stayed in a corner while she kept giving the new data of the dogs. She played a bit with the dogs and then finished the video. Will she adopt dogs? I won't be able to do that. And that's how it happened. After several months, I woke up with a dash hound putting its belly on my face while she was with dark circles in her eyes trying to bathe a poodle. I was a little tired of all this and that's why I tried not to be home much since it was always a problem to deal with the puppies. This was the last day. A year had passed and the whole house was full of small and large dogs. We haven't adopted in a while because surprisingly the Dalmatian that gave birth to 50 Dalmatians, don't ask me how that's possible, sighing but at the same time laughing at this strange situation. I approached her to prepare the last video of all the puppies. I didn't even ask what she was going to do with all of them after the video. But gathering all the puppies, we took a photo and she started her, started her video until one day she herself brought a penguin into the house. What is going on? Somehow. This is Dr. Doolittle. And she got a rather chubby penguin. You know who Dr. Doolittle is? Yes. Okay. Wait, not again. The end. What? Yeah, the first one was way better. I thought the second one was good. Not sure which one you guys thought was more wholesome or just better in general. Let us know in the comments down below. Well, guys, that's our fan fix right there. If you guys want us to do this Okay, again. so I have an idea. Uh, we're going to be adopting a puppy every single day for the next year. Oh, yeah, you, yeah right, you wish. We yeah, will see that. you on the next video. When we do that. When we get a new puppy.